Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series which we're playing as the Enclave. As you can see on screen, we're doing quite well. The NCR is also at war with the Legion. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, they're the casualties. Before we talk about the fall of Sac City, they've done 2%. We've done 96%. We've lost 200 guys. They've lost a lot. We've killed off 25,000. The once beautiful city of Sacramento now lies in ruins. Occupied by mute squatters. As liberation is a great victory for the Enclave in America, we have even managed to free some of our long lost brothers and sisters from the mutants' prisons for the Enclave. Get some more support, no more manpower? Why not? But it's a giant mess right now as we're uh, pushing all over the place and we don't have enough divisions for anything, but you know, what else is new? That's just absolutely normal. Just go here. There you go. And then just go here. And then just go here. Economic resurgence, great. Sac City is ours. And what do we got here? Alright, so you are going down that way. You're going in there. That, that That's fine. Very nice, very nice. And then we're going to go that way. You're going to help out immediately. Keep moving on. Good, good, good. We might have gotten to scroll down here, but we're fixing it right now. Alright, you want to do that anyways, whatever. Help them out. There was need help. And they're helping them down here too. Here, just help out here. It's fine. Sac City Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors try to look at integrating into the NCR. While a large number we found were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new laws in Sac City. Those people and their descendants have now petitioned us to join, rejoin the NCR. Welcome back. They turned their back on the Enclave. Good. Let's go here. Go ahead and eliminate them as well. Platoon training is very nice, very nice. Uh, it's a little ahead of time. That's not too ahead of time, so we'll do that one anyways. We don't really need it, obviously, but, you know, whatever. Mechanized Warfare is good. We do a cup of coffee here to keep some nice and, uh, rejuvenated. We could contact the veterans, but we don't have enough power armor for them, so there's no point in doing that yet. A Mariposa Expedition. Long ago, we controlled the Mariposa base and used slave labor to excavate the lowest levels, providing us with the near limitless supply of the FEV producer. By sending a team of researchers and soldiers to the Mariposa base, we can finally rediscover all of its secrets. There you go. Very nice. Oh, we got encircled here. It's not good. You guys, I can make your way down here too. Yeah, you hold. I need you all down here right now. Come on, let's go. Move. Let's go, we're taking in a raid. We don't want to lose the power division, but it looks like we might. Dang, we actually lost a division. Oh god, the NCR is going to burn now. They're going to really burn. Can't believe we lost an entire thing of them. Warren did well. You expect massive casualties eventually. Here, you guys just come down here. Let's do that. Good. Continue just butchering them. What they deserve, you know? Push into the she state. Very nice. Come on. You don't have to go there. We can just do that. Ooh. There's that other division going. There was more than one division there. Hmm, go figure. She state's gone, that's good. Very, very good, actually. I can also use you over here. I tried pair dropping on them, but it just didn't work. They had way too many victory points. Way, 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 way too many victory points. It wouldn't work out for us. So, really sucks. And you are almost in there. Yes, yes, very good. Good. They want to move, so kill them more. Well, it's not a fruit basket. We've heard rumors of an enclave detachment up in the Wyoming and Montana ways for some time. Today, I was quite a shock when several vertebrates appeared over at Fort Sierra and landed. I stepped a ragtag band of Enclave soldiers. He's looking worse for wear. Among them was Colonel Ellen Santiago, along with her daughter and survivors from the MacArthur Air Force Base. 
Well, Anderson normally had no time for failures. Man, Bart was sure perhaps this time he could turn it the other cheek. After meeting with her, he welcomed her to the base on the last remnants of the Enclave on the west coast. She and her men were welcome to set up shop in the depot, but told him they better be prepared to fight. As those who destroyed MacArthur will destroy them as well. Santiago, still reeling from the loss of her soldiers and home, happily agreed. We will return. Oh, awesome. Their loss is our game. God, I love caffeine. <sighs> Hope you guys are having a pretty good day yourselves. Oh, look at that. Ten combat width at this point. We're just going to go and do this. Orwich, Daniel Carter. Uh, I'm in doubt. Um, what do you got? You're an inspirational person. You better be in better of pain train, too. Good. The Legion's definitely moving in now. Once we get Shady Sands, it should be pretty quickly over, I, I hope. Very much hope so. Good. Okay, don't let him move. Come on. Mariposa military base. It appears that the base is in even worse shape than when we left it. Something demolished the entire upper level, presumably using explosives, luckily. Most of the base is in underground, and there's alternative entrances for those with the right access codes. Let's go. As our assault team pushes deeper into the bowels of the facility, rattling and screaming echoes throughout the metal corridors. It appears super mutes have survived in these depths, God knows how. In order to the soldiers to capture them. We'll kill the mutes on sight. I want to kill them on sight, but I do want slaves. Of course, we get the, them anyways. The Warren, we just need the Warren, so honestly, why would we even capture them? We kill them on sight. For the first uh, squad, Superman is taken care of, our team approaches the target of expeditions. The glowing green vats of FEV are right where we left them, though many of the cases have been damaged. The FEV in these vats contaminated beyond belief. They would not be suitable for research. With more super on their heels, our team must decide what to do quickly. One vial of pure FEV is all we need. Bring whatever we can carry. Honestly, that's all we need, but... I think we need them. Um, let's go protectors of humanity. Yeah. Uh, last two humans in America, perhaps anywhere else in the world, will carry on the sh our shoulders the legacy of a thousand civilizations. That is too little stability for me to be feeling okay. Oh, dump the dirty FEV. Waste not, want not. Uh, we can do that. Hey, why not? I've got political power for it. Search for caches in Nevada? Why not? Waste not, want not. You guys go there, and you guys go there. There you go. Got the power armor lead, and let you guys just follow along. I need you to, like, encircle and stop just, like, going wherever you want. Secret Service armor. We'll make those later, maybe. I mean, we're just going to research everything anyways. It doesn't honestly matter. That'd be nice. Ah, look at that. That's pretty good. Signal translations, implants too. Good, this game just found something. That's very good. Strike Lost Tails. I think we're okay. Wow, where are we going? Armor Harding's good. Don't really honestly need it, but we'll take it anyways. At least for now.
pre war power, power armor cache found, which is exactly what we wanted. A patrol is radioed and needing vertebrate support. They found a pre war cache of power armor, grants only a T45D, which isn't the best model, but it's more than what we got currently. Regardless, we can always outfit our uh, uh, rear line with armor, and I think the T45D is better than most Wanda Sanders mutants in a fight. A wonderful find, nonetheless. Even though it didn't say we got any, though. Odd. Weird. Whatever. Fall of Shady Sands. There you go. Out of the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried to luck at integrating the NCR. While a large number of them were found out and arrested, more and more successfully began the new thousand Shady Sands. They and their descendants have an opportunity to join the NCR. Or join us. Turn it back on us. Fall of Shady Sands. Mr. President, as we're reading this communication, Enclave troops are marching through the capital city of the mutant empire of the NCR. Our troops are reporting limited resistance, as many mutants are too sick to pick up weapons. It appears the NCR government has fled the city well before our arrival, but it remains to be seen how much longer they'll be able to keep their overblown tribe together. Our victory is certain. Of course it is. That was always certain. And if you didn't think it was certain, you're wrong. How much more do we need? We need quite a bit more still, my god. And we are protected of humanity. Crimes against humanity. A great civilization enacted civil laws to allow for the basic protection of the fellow man. As such, any crime committed by a mutant against a human is a crime against humanity and should be punished to the full extent of the law. Absolutely. Very nice. We're gonna go to the boneyard next and then Thousand Oaks. <laughs> wow. Focus fire. Flamers or frag grenades? Great bear. Oh, I gotta go frag grenades. We got him. Look at that. I want all the NCR. The entire thing. I'll leave up a few points. Um, but we'll make sure that we do well enough in this peace deal. Helios 1. Good morning from Enclave Radio, bringing you news from Helios 1. As the sun rises over the pre-war solar plant, reflecting out the solar panels, we can, one can see how much progress the, uh, the president has brought. Gone are the Brotherhood Knights stripping it for parts, with the NCR's engineers stumbling in the dark. Enclave scientists work proudly to restore power to the wastes, and the sun rises over a new day in America. We have the plant, and we have the power. Helios sabotage upon securing Helios 1. Uh, a cadre of so Enclave scientists descended upon the side, hoping to reactivate the ancient orbital weapon aboard Archimedes' energy weapon instead. They encountered a remnant NCR Ranger platoon teamed up with a banded brother of terrorists. They've been thoroughly sabotaging the place, and much of the plant's lower levels have been destroyed. We managed to stop them, before they brought down the entire structure, but the damage has been done. It could take us decades to repair what they've destroyed, and many more to recreate the technology is lost. For now, we must remain content that the solar power cells remain functional, giving us some solace. Bone your remnants. Out of the fall of Navarro. Uh, if you want to do this one, please go ahead. They turn the back on the Enclave. So, we're now here. We took everything. And that means the Legion's going to be severely pissed off. And that's not good for us. So, it's going to be one heck of a grindy fight eventually. And as we know about uh, the Legion, they will send pretty much everything they've got at us. And they will, like, naval invade us as well. So, we got to be ready for them, no matter what. Uh, Hoover Dam. They'd have the one Hoover Dam. Da 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 da. Left them there. It's fine. Over there, too. And you guys go there. That should be it for all waterways into our lands. We're going to save those other four divisions to help us uh, prepare against enemies and whatnot. Even though they're not full of strength yet, I'm going to keep them down near Mexicali because these guys will want to go to war with us. We are increasing compliance. We have no manpower, but what else is new? How many robots do we actually have? None! Good! Now, what happens after the bear's dead? Super problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hope they'll restored.
Lessons from war. Poison the bear. Wait, where's poison the bear? Oh. Open the vaults, huh? Oh, we gotta go down there. Oh, the perfect human. Oh! We did this without even doing this. Okay, interesting. So, I mean, you can do it. Another research slot, too, huh? We definitely need this one, so we should probably get to this one fast. vault -Tec HQ. Before the Great War, our government worked closely with a corporation called vault -Tec. The underground bunkers they built uh, may be our last hope of finding even more unmutated humans. Locations of these vaults were lost to time, but we've reason to believe this information could be found at vault -Tec's headquarters. We can mount an expedition retreat if we find any other valuables as well. Uh, sure. And you know what, since we're here, we're going to need to do this. Oh, look at all the development we need to do. Oh my god. Further storage, China Lake, NAWS. Large naval weapon research development side on the West Coast and something the NCR overlooked so foolishly. What was America's Desert Warfare Training Center became the hub of the NCR military activity pushing into the Mojave before Vegas. Now it's back in our hands. Further storage, Marine Corps Camp Pendleton. The West Coast Marine Corps amphibious base and the center for the Marine deployment to China. The base still stands, although ravaged by sands of time. Bless your engines. Brother volunteers. Weekly map would be nice, but no. Well, city scientists. Enclave military is good. Expanded forces. Final line. On on essentials. Now we're good. We're all veterans. Chief of Navy. Yeah, we're gonna go with that guy. Reorganized engineers. Energy cell. Honestly, let's go with the technocrat. That's fine. Harold Richardson. Sarge. Ah, I get Sergeant Dornan. Naval designer, light ship hull, screens, capital ships, production cost is fine. What do we got right here? Landis is failure. Oh, that's good. Anka failing firearms and laser and porium. You might be banned everywhere else, but we'll keep them around. I think we're all right. Electronics. Yeah, that's more for like the becoming America again. Well, I mean, we are America, don't get me wrong, but still. Uh, power station, electronics research, speed, civilian power grid, we don't have those. Oh, energy weapon team's done, why not? There you go. Plasma rifle just two ahead of time. Factories. Further store 29 palms. Uh, the largest base of the former United States Marine Corps used for training that turned the tide of the resource war against China. The fall of New California. The greatest opponent of the Legion lies in ruins. Uh, who's going to stop Kaiser and his bid to conquer the waste? Complaints about rations. The abundance of non spoilable military rations scattered across what remains of the USA has always been of vital importance to the Enclave. The hydroponic facilities at our bases are not always keep up to demands, and we have hardly the manpower to send out to the fields. This leaves us at the mercy of the logistics officers of 200 years ago. However, and it appears some form of mislabeling has resulted in the Sierra Armored Depot being stocked with a century's supply of hard Russian cheeses. Recent power surge. As damage, whenever a hydroponic harvest and since then, the hard Russian cheeses have been served with breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. It's gossip and disgruntled personnel, chief among them, lead scientist Thomas Kesselhut, to accuse the cooks of a lack of skill and creativity and demand we ban the Russian cheese. Ban the Russian cheese. I'll have to deal with it until the menu changes. Soldier cut out of uniform during one of his dreaded surprise inspections, Sergeant Dornan has got a private out of his standard issue power armor. A uh, soldier side of maintenance, but no such request was filed. Dorian Weiss, no time demanding 1,000 push ups as you happen by. Cut the boy some slack. Well, strict standards are necessary to maintain order. President favored by the common soldiers, great for morale. Let the sergeant do his job. Ow. Traders from even farther. A uh, trade ship docked in Dayglow last night, bearing marks, uh, markings unknown to anyone in the waste. An orange, white, and green flag flew from its bow, and its crew began marking, marketing strange spices, foods, and fruits we've never seen before. A question by port authorities on the origin. The ship has claimed to be from a place called India. While most waste centers mistook it for the pre-war state of Indiana, we do know that India was overrun by communist Chinese back in the 2050s. Looks like they too managed to claw back from the brink. The ship will remain in port for the next few weeks to take on provisions and fuel before sailing off to parts unknown. Is the Taj Mahal still standing? Indian spices. 
Now they need to be escorted them out. Escort them out. There you go. As we're still kind of hanging out here. So we got Baltic HQ. Open the vaults. Um, the time's going to open the last few control vaults, holding healthy human populations. Of course, those that agree to join us could be added to our numbers, and those that don't have other uses. And those that don't have other uses, of course. Shine energy schematics. Sounds pretty good to me, man. Klalox designs. Although sadly, the man who proposed the hack Klalox was a reformer who suffered a plasma grenade related accident. We can still emulate the Lux robot designs. In a way, he's more human than many of the mutants who invest in America, of course. Sure, further destroy Edwards Air Force Base. Since the Great uh, War, Edwards Air Force Base sat derelict and then as a home of the NCR base. Uh, or, a home of the NCR Air Force. So it's time to return to the former glory. On the borders of the bowl. When the NCR and its allies were vanquished, we were able to catch a breath. Though we feared our victory may be short lived. Our borders now connect. Uh, to us, to a horde of mutants, perhaps more terrible than any of our old enemies, Kaiser's Legion. A parody of pre war. History defiles our soil with a very existence. <clears throat> it's only a matter of time before the dictator understands that the true nature of our goals, and once more, we will meet a mutant menace on the battlefield, out of the frying pan. Declare war in three years. Oh, that's nice. Any more power armor, more gunships, of course. Uh, let's see. Basic aquifers. There you go, I'll do this one. Search for caches in California. Why not? Rose joins. Do you want the chosen ones? Oh. Facilities of the wasteland. Every mangled mass of steel has a story to tell now. It's up to us to find them. Let's tell, tell them. Should all be the same. Rapid response divisions are still last year. Should be the most doing this. In the meantime, can we just take out lost cells? If they're gonna go to war with us in three years, we got time. The NCR's political gridlock and schema prevented them from being able to deliver the disaster strike needed and lost souls. We, on the other hand, are completely capable of it. How long will that take to get us there, though? It takes quite a while. Honestly, we don't even need these anti propaganda things. Got political power. It's fine, whatever. Port Urban Training Center. The pre-war Fort Irwin, Fort Irwin, Fort Irwin was home to the National Guard Training Center, America's premier desert tra warfare training center. It was key to its victory in Gobi Desert. Post war, the base remained unused to the high amount of automated defenses that guarded the base. After a dedicated campaign by the NCR, the base was restored to relative working order, becoming the, lar the center of the NCR push on the Mojave and the rebel nation's largest military installation. Now back in our hands, we can return to its training routes by establishing the Wasteland Warfare Training Center, giving our troops an edge of the closest to real life combat experience possible. Best training in the West. Weapons of the old world. Naval air. A weapons station China Lake was at one time the hotbed of naval weapons development and design. It was instrumental to allowing the U.S. to maintain its surface sea control just prior to the Great War, where the weapons developed here after the Great War became a bombed out husk. Many of its underground facilities were caved in and lost. Regardless, the Navy is eager to get the base back to full capacity and restore status as the mightiest Navy in the world, if nothing more than shooting pirates on Emerald Seas. Freedom Ahoy! Black Mountain. The installation of Black Mountain was used to monitor China's satellite network pre war. And its electronic interference capabilities help shield Hidden Valley from the brunt of China's nuclear attack. Unfortunately for us, it's seen better days. <clears throat> Mutants, let me tell you about my best friend. The hills are alive with the sounds of Night King. A radio station is being broadcast from Black Mountain, uh, apparently belonging to a group of super mutants and Night King currently inhabiting the facility. The self proclaimed radio free Utopithia appears to be led by two hosts Rhonda and best friend Tabith Tabitha, later being the esteemed leader of the state of U Utopitha. The station seems to be advertised to other suit mutants the benefits of living under the rule of best friend Tabitha, and to cry on the two headed bear people, battle cattle, and now the black metal men. <clears throat> Through it all, though, we've been able to determine several things. Firstly, the hosts or hosts of the Black Mountain radio signal are completely and utterly insane. Secondly, suit mutants of Black Mountain follow best friend Tabitha's every word, and she's viewed as some sort of prophet. Finally, as a result of both the previous factors, there's only going to be one way to deal with the suit mutants loud, proud, guns blazing. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that may prove difficult considering the population of Night King which live on Black Mountain will undoubtedly employ stealth technology to cause chaos and destruction amongst the restoration crews once we take, retake the facility. They want to fight? Now yeah, we'll go get it. Get that rambling off air. <coughs> Excuse me. Expel mutants. We can push some of the mutants east into the Legion's lands. He may struggle to handle them, buying his time, but it'll further boost his power. Why not? Raid the Legion. We can attack the Legion's uh, outposts and supply lines to buy us time, but it'll cost us. Oh, the Wrath of Kaiser. Well, it's fine. Whatever. 
Further story for Hunter Liggett, an old U.S. Army training post in West Central California that served in the NCR post-war. Further story for Travis Air Force Base, sitting on the edge of California, rest travel is Travis Air Force Base, which Air Force used to launch long-range strikes against China. Further to Alamad Point Naval Base. A combination of three naval installations in San Francisco, used by the chief for the longest time, they're now ready to raise the banner of freedom overhead once again. Resume FEV experiments. By resuming the FEV projects of Mariposa, we'll start down a road that may well lead us to perfection. Once America saw perfection and was brought low far, far too soon, today we should research or search for perfection and find it or die trying. Further to Fort Ord. An all but an abandoned base on the west coast of California, getting it back up and running. Well, uh, provide another area to house and train our troops. Ooh, we found weapons, look at that. A few hundred ballistic rifles and basic support equipment for our units. Should beat them immediately. Nice. Further store, Air March Air Force Base. What was once a reserve Air Force Base, NCR took over and expanded the base, turning it to the birthplace of their Air Force. Uh, we don't want to do that one. Nice. Legion marches. Oh, they go toward dead horses. Well, that sucks for the horses. I'll tell you what. And here, what is going to do? Hills. I like the hills. The hills, they are a calling, my friends. They're out of town, but we don't care. Ah, nothing power but good. Uh, operational security. Nice. Long range radios are good. Restore NAF L Central. If you want to do this, please go ahead. Nice. How much money are we making? 200 some? That's not enough. Sac City. Oh, maybe I did things wrong, but oh well. All right, what's next? So we got all those readings ones down here. We could raid the Legion, but we're not going to, of course. Wrath of Kaiser, I'm not super concerned. Many of prospectors repair the next one. That's good. Ah, uh, what do I have next? All these are going to read. Search for caches eventually. If you're about anti-NCI propaganda, please go ahead and poison the bear as well. Thank you very much. War with the Brotherhood. I guess we could have done that one, but whatever. The perfect human. Ooh. War with the Brotherhood, I guess. The Brotherhood of Steel is an old enemy of ours. While the distance between us has kept them off our minds, their time has passed. They will no longer be a threat to the existence of the U.S. once we are done with them. Oh. We could have done that one in the end, huh? Anti-Brotherhood propaganda. Although our younger members may not remember the crimes against us at Navarro, we have many reasons to seek the destruction of those power-armored Boy Scouts. Let us compile our grievances into broadcasts to remind our soldiers of why we fight. Oh, look at that. They're actually just fighting on us. We're just fighting on each other. It's almost like family. I'm in California. A small uh, base sitting out in Western California. Pre-war was used as a training and containment area for forces training up for operations in China. <clears throat> Post war is used by the NCR as the main army base in the region. After tearing down and removing the two headed bear flags, the enclave has raised old glory high once again, and the base is ready to receive American troops uh, for exercises and training. The various large training areas that surround the post will give our troops all the experience they need to fight a war in the post nuclear environment, as well as how to conduct combat maneuvers in the wasteland. Nice space you got here. The Rep Contest Site. Once a part of American technological innovation, the Rep Contest Site has since become a playground for mutant scavengers and is infested with ghouls. It should take much at all to clear the mountains for the facility. Skies over California, once a vital component of Air uh, Mobility Command. The resources wars had changed everything. The long range bombers and submarines launched aircraft. Travis Air Force Base was in a perfect position to combat the rapidly escalating Pacific Air War. While well, bases like Mountain Home and MacArthur handled strikes coming out of Alaska, Travis sent fighters over the Pacific, coordinating with the Navy. The fighters at Travis kept the skies over America's Pacific shores clear, and such was targeted heavily by the Chinese. It's ironic that the descendants of the Chinese, the Xi, managed to restore the base in working condition, though the Stars and Stripes fly as over the base once more. Fly, dragons fly? Absolutely. Since we're here, protect the Golden Gate to America. There we go. Combination of Naval Air Station uh, Alameda, 
The uh, Treasure Island Naval Base and Hunters Point Naval Shipyard, despite its large size, remain more of a defensive position in service in the fleet before they moved north to Kitsap or south San Diego. The location of this base was a strategic protection of the Sacramento San Joaquin Estuary. And even today, the base still serves a purpose after the war. She cleared out of the defenders and managed to turn the various parts of the base over to their own naval production. That's how we managed to take a notice of the sheep, which was very unfortunate for the sheep and so very fortunate for us. Our engineers and sea navy bees are still coming across the telltale marks of our sabotage efforts to assure that she never leaves San Francisco by water. The base now operational once again has become a central point for anti pirate operations within the estuary and further abroad in the Pacific. How do we let China Summer get this close? That's a good question. Because we got 20 days left for that. We've got plenty of roads to build. I mean, we're going to build a lot of roads. We're building Fort Oud, one of the uh, old army's oldest installations in California. The base was partially banned in the late 20th century, before the army took back the command of the site and built it as a training and defensive hard point against the communist menace that abated Alaska. It and the city of Monterey were hit hard during the war. Yeah. With Monterey being all but abandoned by the NCR, it became a haven for raiders and slavers until the NCR Army, NCR Army came in and wiped the city off the map. They occupied the remains of Fort Ord, Ord for some time before pulling units out of the other locations. We just restored the base to full working order, both to keep a watchful eye for any hostile Shi activities, as well as to provide a garrison out for forces on the western edge of California. Good lord, what happened to the Monterey? Birthplace of the NCR Air Force, former Air Force Reserve Base, <clears throat> on the outskirts of the Boneyard. The NCR repaired the base and brought it online. It made it center of their air operations, marking the birthplace of the NCR Air Force. The same Air Force uh, uh, was promised to end smash when we took back California. Looking over the base, the expansion that the NCR undertook is sound, and the Air Force has decided to upgrade the base from an air reserve base to a full-fledged Air Force base. Another addition to our operations as we move east, especially with the Legion sitting just across Colorado with a base within range of aircraft, but out of range of Kaiser Shumatari, that serves America once more. Fantastic. Camp McCarran. Pre-war, Camp McCarran was McCarran International Airport, though, and the build-up of the Great War was heavily fortified and became prime real estate for the NCR's army. Now, we must decide what to do with it. We just want to strike ourselves. That's all we want to do. Set of time, I really don't care at this point. Uh, actually, at this point, we probably should get some ships. All done with air stuff, which is nice. And be here. That'd be lifter bots, I guess. You know, whatever it is, what it is. Tanks, we might use tanks, we'll see. Ooh, we definitely want these ones up. Miniature rocket launch systems. I'm not throwing anti-tank on here, though. We can honestly really use it. But we'll see. Claim Navarro. We finally reclaim our old base of operations. This alone is good to boost morale, but there's always to be more gained as the base also is much of our most advanced executive research. Oh, God. I can't click on it. Oh, there's international markets here, too. I forgot about that. Shows you how much I really use it. Where is diplomacy? Decisions, international market trade, construction. Uh. I would just do it like this. Volatile explosives are nice. Great bear, that's fine, whatever. I'll see how we boost you up later. We'll see. You know, just let them just kind of waste themselves on our line. Seven hundred versus thirty-four. That's quite a few losses for us. Mojave outposts, the mutants use this place as the outpost of the frontier. As pathetic as that frontier was, the outpost might be so of use to us. Ranger Station Echo. The mutants use Ranger Station Echo as a listening post in the little squabbles. We can do a lot more with that, though. Oh, nuclear test site. Noted for its immense radioactivity in the south of the Mojave Wesleyan. The... Oh, nuclear test site does sell some value to us. Anti-Brotherhood propaganda? Sure, why not? Extend presidential powers. Ooh. Silence Congress. Emergency draft. Honestly, we don't need that one. I might still do it, but... It can be removed out of decisions. That'd be nice. We're going to reclaim the bottle next, though. Because we must. Cloning experiments. 
We must come to the harsh realization that our population is in an unsustainable level and that in but a few decades, the Enclave will die. We can't however prevent this. By devoting significant time, resources, and manpower, we can begin the long process of creating viable clones for the genetic material past and present Enclave and American citizens. Marine Corps with Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton was a primary Marine Corps amphibious warfare base on the West Coast, proving integral during the Great War. It was from here that the Air Force, uh, or Marine Air Ground Task Force, Shanghai, launched forward and within months secured the city for Uncle Sam. The beach had established allowed the Marines and eventually the Army to push deep into the Chinese mainland. Though the glory was eventually stolen in the Great War, their base remained occupied by a tribe that eventually came to emulate the Marines as a sort of cargo cult, which we were dealt with by the NCR, who occupied the base not realizing what history they were squatting on. The few and the proud. Black Mountain. The uh, neighbor base, the far more secretive Hidden Valley uh, Air Force base, uh, Black Mountain was a satellite and communications array, as well as a monitoring station focused on China's satellite network. The base, utilized by both the Army and the Air Force, was also used to protect Hidden Valley during the Great War by employing its electronic countermeasures. Although several bombs did go off nearby, it would be impossible to tell whether the target was Black Mountain or its much more viable neighbor. Regardless of the intended target, radiation doesn't discriminate. The peak of that mountain was still doused in rads when we arrived. This would explain why it reportedly remained abandoned for as long as it was, and why it eventually it was settled by the super mutants. How long is this going to take? 65 days? I want to go to war with them too. But now the facility is back in our hands, of course. Um, after the site was scrubbed for radiation, we were able to get the array back online. Surprisingly, the radio equipment was very well kept, though it appeared it had to go through a series of repairs to get it to the state we found it in. Although the Great War is long over, we can still use the satellite monitoring app capabilities to find out just which satellites are still up in orbit. Although we won't have to search very hard to find a bomb station in 002. And more pragmatic uses, we will also be able to use a facility to intercept radio transmissions from across the Colorado. So all we need now is a name. Bring Joint Base Black Mount back online. As long as it's not Utobitha, name will remain the same. Joint Base. I like Joint Base. It's all ahead of time, it's fine, whatever. Uh, well, that's 10%, even the last recruitable population factor, but more organization kill switches. I want them to see if we can attack us one more time. Yeah, attack us, see what you can do. We can't pierce each other, but that's all right. Airwise, are we gunning them down? Oh yeah, we, you bet we are. Marine Corps at 29 Palms, the largest Marine Corps base in the former United States, officially. The Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center. The center of the largest desert training warfare center, larger than the National Training Center up in Fort uh, Irwin. It was here that the Marines trained for the Spirit in the Gobi Desert. And it was here that the Chinese back was broken when the Marine units broke through Chinese lands, secured the vital Chinese factors in the Gobi for Uncle Sam, opening the second front for the Chinese liberation. The NCR used the main base as the headquarters, and the push south and many NCR Rangers passed through here for initial training before heading off to the Baja or the Mojave. There's a lot more than 29 palms here. Hey, old, old world gods, nice, very nice. Camp McCarran. Camp McCarran was, before the Great War, known as the Camp McCarran, uh, McCarran International Airport. A long trip to Las Vegas, bringing in travelers from far and wide on commercial airlines to enjoy the rich tourism the city had to offer. As time went on, however, <clears throat> communist terrorism gripped the nation. Uh, further and further, the government saw fit to fortify McCarran Airport, building concrete walls with watchtowers and cyclone wire, even going so far to station a National Guard battalion in the terminal. All to protect America, of course. When the NCR sent their armies to secure the Mojave, the fortification still stood. They occupied the airport and turned into the headquarters of the army in the Mojave. It was easily defensible, had direct access to the strip via a uh, monorail and the well strategic position in the Las Vegas Valley. As all these traits just make it as valuable to us as it did to the NCR, and it's been suggested that they return Camp McCarran into a new military installation. Already a number of branches have been come forward hoping to stick a claim in the top site. Give Fort McCarran to the army. It's an airport, right? Give it to the Air Force. We give it to the Marines and keep the name. Give it to the Marines. I always neglect them. 76 versus 2,000. Tin cans. Captured lost those bunkers. Some deemed it impenetrable. Others deemed the conquest of it too bloody to even be attempted. However, but they both initially seemed to have been proven wrong after a single day of what some underwhelming fighting. Somewhat underwhelming. <clears throat> Enclave troops began their attack in the early hours of the morning, seemingly catching the brother and napping. The first troops through the bunker doors were elites, armed with enough anti-armor firepower to crack open Liberty Prime twice over. However, they were met with no resistance. The brother had seemingly conned on to the fact that the power armor, their greatest strength, is not terribly effective in crime hallways. They also seemingly had no appetite for a desperate last stand. Instead, unbeknownst to the attackers, they'd rigged the entire bunker to explode as soon as the fourth level of the bunker was reached. And that it did. A resulting explosion could be felt across California, and resulted in the deaths of over 500 Enclave soldiers. However, Enclave forces will be able to steal a few highly valuable schematics before the base was destroyed. Expelling the Brotherhood from Los Hills was worth the cost. Very good. We're going to Jackals or Vipers? Huh. Well, since I've given you any orders yet.
Give me those, nice. Don't do that one too. But brief it implants for infantry. Militia, spec ups, power armor. Well, let's wait for that. Look to the skies, Kaiser. Protecting what was once the great city of L.A. Edwards Air Force Base took hit after hit during the Great War, nearly reducing it to a pile of rubble. Thankfully, the fallout kept the scavengers from picking the base apart, and what's more, when the fallout subsided, the NCR turned it into the center of the Air Force, which, while laughable, restored some parts of the base with working order, making it job, our job all easier, allowing us to divert resources to improving the base's facilities, creating a model for air bases as we continue east. The Air Force Base has expressed its desire and willingness to begin operations, especially since the base's strategic location in California makes it a prime point for eventual war with Kaizar. Fly, Eagles, fly. You know what, we're going to... Close out this one for now. You know we close out this one too. Very nice. Compliance. Look, resistance is pretty much down. Compliance is 100%. Oh, I love the enclave. And we'll do that one eventually. A lot of designs, contact the veterans, plasma weaponry. Um, what else can we do? Break the Brotherhood. Lesson from the war. We need lessons from the war, huh? Ah. In the war against the NCR is like any unlike any other conflict the Enclave has engaged in for centuries. It's a wake up call for generals when they invade their doctrines or risk the total destruction of humanity. Mojave Outpost. Mojave Outpost was a gateway to the Mojave for the mutant nation of the New California Republic. <clears throat> Pre war. Location was a Southwest Commonwealth Highway Patrol checkpoint between Nevada and Southern California while the NCR occupied it. It began flooding into the Mojave on the Longs 15 and became the market for the boundary of the NCR's fully controlled territory. It was also here that one of the most offending things the mutants ever built was located. A massive rusting facsimile of a statue built from the waters of rust towered over the outpost in its existence. Like the nation it represented was an affront to mankind, it was swiftly demolished by the combat engineers. Now that the outpost is in our hands, there is no denying the strategic importance which this location holds. Any meaningful troop movements going to or coming from Southern California would have to come through here, with only a few dispersed exceptions. If we already fortified this location, it would be worth our while to occupy it for ourselves. Now we must decide the name. Mojave Barracks. It's a good name, so it'll suffice. We'll go with the barracks. And then, Strike Team Doctrine. Formalize the forces. Flexible battle plans. I don't remember which one I did a very long time ago. At this point, um, <clears throat> we're not pair dropping very much. I might just do flexible battle plans. But it does hurt our max planning. Starting defense skill. Starting level new army leaders that we might need. Yeah, so I might go with this one then. Our own demand territory, huh? Interesting. Well, since they want to go to war with us. Alright, we're, we're okay with that. Yeah, I might just give our guys some uh, anti-tank as well. We need way more gunships and whatnot here too. Canoe holes, well, it's not even worth making. Um, what am I looking at? Anti-tank. Do we have anti-tank? We have tanks. Anti tank is just so necessary, it's not funny. I do want vertebrate support wings, because that movement just is so good. Oh, does that increase in combat width too? Boy, that actually increases combat width. That's interesting. Maybe we won't use it. I don't like that. <clears throat> when does uh, support companies actually increase combat width? That's insane. Arm crafts are good, better holes. Um, how long would this take? Oh, 20 days, that's pretty good. I know we get war goals against these guys later on eventually, but I don't really care. More war now. Ranger Station Echo, look, overlooking the banks of the Colorado. The Ranger Station Echo is one of the furthest eastern outposts of the mutant nation of the NCR. Nestled in the southern part of the El Dorado Mountains, the station overlooked the strategically vital locations of Nelson and Cottonwood Cove. Naturally, the mutants were too incompetent and too spread thin to effectively guard the Colorado, so it was placed further west and used it as an observation post. With most of the Ranger Stations throughout the Mojave have been scrapped, Echo's location was determined to be one of the more strategically viable. Interestingly, the site chosen by the NCRs was fairly contaminated by radiation, of course. All mutants are inherently contaminated to some degree. Locations like this would often be avoided. It seems the rangers here were mostly ghouls, which would explain why we exterminated so many ghouls when we arrived. We have now since removed and safely disposed of our radioactive containments and can now impress the station into our service. The Marine Corps stepped up, expressing the willingness to establish the outpost as an air station, but the site picked out for the air facility slightly north, intended to be better to better protect Hoover Dam. 
Their Marines have their fun. They certainly help their chances. They know they're branch one of the station. Repcon. The Repcon test site was a research, production, and testing facility for aerospace rocketry and... <clears throat> When Repcon uh, was purchased by Robco, Energy Weapons. The location became a landmark of the region, with local mutants picking the facility apart, which made a refurbishing of the facility just that much harder. Thankfully, even every green cloud is a silver lining, and a blunder of pre-war corporate maneuvering, much of the area and its more important research facilities were flooded with radiation, of course. Records show this contamination occurred in 2075 amidst Repco's negotiations to be acquired by Robco. The upside of this is that the majority of the research laboratories were spared the mutant scavengers, who instead picked through the easier, less contaminated sections of the site. That's meant we were able to recover numerous prototypes and experiments, including a set of near-functional space-fearing rockets that the site school's infestation was attempting to launch. As well as a certain scrubbing of the fallout, we can employ these sections of the facility of our own, to our own purposes. There's one question that remains, however. A combination of the facility's usefulness, alongside the repercussions of corporate greed, and the government's hefty investment into the site itself, has brought forward a debate. Many are asking whether or not the site should be returned to the RUPCON to continue its work in the private sector, or should the site should be run by the military, to turn into the Las Vegas proving grounds. They wouldn't be very free of us to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that one, why not? It doesn't really matter too much. Kill them just to kill them. I'm gonna stick you out here. Arroyo is over here as what? Umbra and the Packers. But they want to go to war with us too, though. 55 days. Vipers, 20 some days. Can they even go to war with us? They're the wrong one. Raider of Nice. Build 2 to 40. Drink 48 over 310 allowed. Interesting. We need more naval stuff too, anyways. Oh, so that stuff is good. We need some sales. Naval XP slightly going up, not bad. They have the deadline. Well, whatever. I'm not super concerned. What daily command power are we getting? 4.9. Oh, no, 1.56. I'm like, 4.9? That's insane. Huh. We got cargo planes. Oh, okay. So, we yeah, can't actually do that. Darn it. There we go. Glassful mounts test range. Straddling the border between California and Nevada, the Castle Mounts Test Range was a weapons testing site which served the Greater Nevada Test Site. It was also, under the record, used to dispose of radioactive and toxic waste by its command. Unfortunately, because of the immense contamination present at the site, the last two centuries have done little to disperse the radiation present, as well as the site was home to a vast number of feral ghouls which had to be eliminated. However, every green cloud is a silver lining. The test site was apparently working on a bunker of busting bombs capable of eliminating any bunkers the Chinese might use to try and survive nuclear attack. The dummy bunkers used for testing were built by the vault -Tec engineers and were constructed with all the facilities expected of a real fallout shelter, luckily for us. Not all the bunkers were tested on before the Great War came, so the test site has saw some use to us. Just watch the Geiger counters. Bureau of Installations. Ah, daily naval XP, that's why we're getting that. Nice. Daily command power gain, holy crap, that's nice. Defenses are online, fantastic. Uh, here, you know what, just build more, we're elites. Uh, better consumer goods, energy, cell game for energy. Fine. There's a sword in uh, NAF El, El Centro. Sitting just north of Mexico, the NAF El Centro is crucial to the controlling the skies above the, Gulf, above the Gulf of California and a strategic location for further strikes against Kaiser. Sure, why not? For a store for Vandenberg Air Force Base? Yes, please. Nice. Go ahead, put them out of their misery. Fighters, oh, look at that. We actually have some spare fighters. Um, since we're here, can we just find these guys too? Makes it easy for us. Ah, good. Let them go over the hangdogs. That's a lot of hangdogs to take out. Five gone. Easy, easy peasy. We've got a lot of enemies to take out. Um, laser rifles. Auto laser rifles, definitely. 
Legion marches. They already did that, though. Whatever. Okay. Mm, your funeral. But we march as well. Men of TV Town, the troops are sifting through the wreckage of what was once known as TV Town, in a strange simulation of an idyllic pre-war town stuck in what appeared to be a loop of a TV show. There are a few escape attempts over the centuries by the town's director, as Zach's computer at the town's core maintain order. Mysteriously, <clears throat> we have no idea who did this. There are no corporate markings, no vault tech property, not even anything from the pre-war U.S. Army. Whatever, whoever did this was completely outside the scope of our knowledge. Many of the androids, as we've realized they were, are being scrapped for parts, but the circuits are too fragile and weak for us to reverse. <clears throat> Engineer this or engineer them at this time. How do they end up here? Oh, we get a free core. Look at that. Remains of TV Town. Pick into the remains of what was TV Town. Well, it's clear that whatever or whoever set this place up had technology well in advance of our own. And this is a pre-war thing or post-war thing we don't really know. However, some of our researchers think that something might come of this given the raw power of the androids we faced. More uh, pragmatic members of the government, however, are keen to see the area turned over for settlement and are given over to production given the advanced technology and the hidden city would be greatly benefit our cause. Prepare the place for settlement. All right, let's set up research station. We have enough research stations. Break the Brotherhood. Well, that would be nice. The breakaway terrorist organization that is the Brotherhood of Steos is stained upon our nation's history, made worse by the fact that we have been they have been helping assisting the mutants that poison our soil. Lost cells and all successor chapters must be put to an end. Further store Creech Air Force Base, right here, home in Nevada. Oh, or southeast of New Reno lies an even large army depot, the largest in the world. The vibe set atop it, held at bay by the base's de defense turrets, but they'll deactivate for us. Now, in Nevada, Creech Air Force Base serves as air, air defense for the large Nevada test site, as well as uh, air training for the Air Force. The Guard Citadel. Facility is the wasteland. Like most of the Brothers' fortresses, the Guard Guardian Citadel was at once a United States military installation. Now that it's ours again, we're going to restore it to full capacity. Or Mount Campbell. Not a place, but a thing. Small as it may be, we can hardly turn down a new, new source of renewable energy. Silver Peak Lithium Mine. For decades, the Lithium Mine in Silver Peak was America's only source of domestic lithium. I could produce lithium once again. Gavs Magnesia. Would you care to hear about care to hear about about Magnesia? Oh, we need to build cloning. More than five cities available. Oh crap! So we actually need like to remove all this stuff, unfortunately. Crap, that's not good. How many more days do we have to wait? Uh, not bad. Still, could be better. I don't go and spend the air XP, that's fine, whatever. Look at that army XP now. Nice. Uh, Uncle members only. Yeah, no. Division organization, 8%. Probably need the academy. Just for Rogel's time. It does go down. I want to keep that one then. Uh, what else we got down here? We claim the United States of America. America's return to the shores. A great mutated bear has been vanquished. Now it's time to reclaim our glorious land from the dirty mutants. We lay claim to its hollowed soil. A special forces minimum capacity. Fantastic. Every other state in the world becomes ours. Oh. If you want to read about the Northwest Brotherhood, please go ahead, as well as the Mojave Brotherhood, and the Maxon chapter, and the Alamo chapter, please go ahead as well. There you go. Thank God. Legend of the Sierra Madre. Sifting through the records. We found a words of pre-war casino, the Sierra Madre. While many officers want to lounge to the casino, there appears to be some ramblings from the Mojave Elder that might make it worth our while. Slander's got to die, too. How long is it going to take? 95 days. That's too long for me. 60 days. White legs. Ouroboros. Badlam. Buckaroos. 30 days. I like that. Kazar's done. We'll do these two next as well. We've got plenty of money to do this from here on out. Uh, we can move those guys around, but I don't really care right now. Just butcher them all. It's fine. Skies above California Gulf, sitting just above the former U.S.-Mexican border. NAS, El Centro. It's positioned just strategically enough to conduct patrols over the Gulf of California and strike southwest in Mexico against Skylock and his sons, or further east against the Legion further. The base is home to a suite of virtual reality pods that were used to train pilots when ordnance was scarce in the lead-up to the Great War, of course. Or, t or teams have managed to get them running, allowing our teams, allowing for naval and air force aviators to train in bombing strikes from the safety and comfort of the base. Fly goes fly once more. We need capital ships, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got more robots. That's nice. Zucchini and flames. We'll take out the white legs eventually as well. Beautiful. A lot of Nevada's coming under control. This fan frickin' tastic. Alright, so what place would be easy to attack and get? Sec Simper Kaiza. Mutant zones. Oh, the construction. Ooh. Habitat for humanity. Building America. Our wayward dominion. Oh, this would be nice. Laws of our land. Daily compliance. Raiders, gangs, mutants, communists. Americans cry out loud for law and order, wanting to return to the America of old. Peace, stability, and not living in fear of bloat flies. That rat guy. We claim the United States of America. Oh, we can do that one next, too. A land of law and order, of course. There you go. Build a cloning facility. There we go. Cloning experiment. Oh, my God. Mutant exclusion zones. Uh, it's starting today. All mutants. Uh, we'll be required to wear a small red badge to distinguish yourself from humans to ensure the continued support and welfare of humans and separation of the mutants into pre-designated zones outside of major urban centers. All who reside in these areas will require the proper work and authorization papers to leave, and any and all resistance will be met with a swift hand of the human justice. This is for the betterment of all mankind. Now go in your ghetto and stay there. Anderson Bills. Nice. Love it. City of Sacramento. City of San Diego. Reclaim the jewel of the West Coast. Our glorious jewel on the West Coast, one of the finest cities in America, a uh, testament to their skill and power, the city survived uh, by sheltering in the vault tech demonstration vault. It is sad that their descendants all became mutants. We all, however, honor their memory by conducting a deep and thorough campaign to remove the mutant filth of uh, former great city and return to the gleaming jewel that was once L.A. We call it a boneyard. Spare no expense. Oh, that's worth it. Oh, that's definitely worth it. Automated California farming. Fruits of irrigation. And why not? Remove the stink of communism. When you hope that the Great War has eradicated China, we saw no invasion fleets or any real activity from the Asian continent following the war. However, when we first landed on America's golden shores, we discovered a Chinese remnant in San Francisco. What was worse, there were communist mutants. But we may not have had the numbers to destroy control the city then. But we now do. Let those mutants cower in the dirty hovels. America, true America, will not root them out like the infestation they are and ensure that the stink filth of communism is removed from America's soil once for all. At least protect our city. Our case at all costs. I like that one a lot. Gunships. Tons of ships. Oh my god, how do we get so many how much where do we get the military factories from? Hawthorne Armor Depot. Pre war Hawthorne Armor Depot pride itself as the largest depot in the world. To us, the size that Cedar Armor Depot, Hawthorne held everything from weapons, ammo, trucks, and everything in between. Sadly, operations in Alaska and China drained into the stocks, and the passage of time hasn't helped. While getting the base up and running, we managed to find out a few old stocks of rifles and machine guns, but one of our techs discovered something better schematics for the 105mm artillery pieces, along with training manuals and range tables. While previously our high mobile, highly mobile uh, vert assault teams had no need for artillery, if we're going to take back America the hard way, we're going to need artillery support. Sadly, it appears that what few guns we're we're here. We're still on with the tracks leading up to the southeast towards Vegas. So who took the guns? It's awesome. That rat bastard. One of America's greatest pre-war moguls, Robert House, was offered a seat on the rig. Now we know why he declined. It's more he's thrown in his lot with the mutants. Bring down the house. House may always win, but Uncle Sam always gets his cut. Shady Sands Internment Camp. The center capital of the mutant republic. They dare to lay claim to what is California. The audacity that a series of mutants would even think to claim a part of American soil boggles the mind. Well, today, the walls of Shady Sands were raised high, and the worst of the mutant lot were thrown in. This internment camp will be the first of many that are being stood up around California, and eventually the country has a means of disposing the worst mutants, so those death would be too delicate. They'll be with basic food and water, and we shall monitor them to ensure that the tainted mutant ways are not spreading any further. America's future will be human. Junktown internment camp. The hub internment camp. Los Angeles maximum security prison. An embarrassing stain on America's armies of brotherhood of steel. The laughable, nightly organization that thought they could protect the mutants of the wasteland. It's embarrassing to think that they were cut from the same cloth as their glorious army. They're headquartered in the old government building. 
um, bun or bunker at Lost Hills. Well, if that's where they were born, that's where they shall stay. Today, the tech and machinery of Lost Hills has been stripped out and will become the new maximum security prison that shall hold any members of the Brotherhood too stupid to survive an encounter with army patrols. No food, no water, the perfect solution for a band of mutant traitors. Justice will prevail, defending America's most secure base, a pre war Air Force base, sort of the Greater Nevada test site. The fighter counterpart to the NLS Air Force base bombs, Creech served as a little younger. Uh, known as little known younger sister to the more famous site, although that was just as important. Given the obscurity of the base and the focus on Area 51, the base was left unscathed as far as the Great War damage. The intervening 200 years, however, did little to stop its decay to the elements. From the occasional NCR expedition to the roving bands of raiders to the Mo Great Mojave War. Back in her hands, the base is shaping up to be crucial in both their push into Utah as well as stop whatever the heck Kaiser can throw at us when their armies meet. Baker's to Mutant Containment Zone. Of all the lost immunes, there's none worse than the ghoul. You ever see one? A walking, talking freak show? Raspy voice, flaking skin, they're technically not even alive. Plus, they've all go feral eventually, making them an enduring threat to the America and humans as well. What's worse, we haven't been able to isolate that gene that causes normal pure humans from mutating into these horror shows. Until that is discovered, the city of Bakersfield uses both a containment zone and a testing lab to determine what exactly causes this hideous mutation. This might take a few decades. I don't even want to look at them. In a citadel at Navarro, our nation's throne. A miracle sheltered on the rig, but that sadly has gone down in an unprovoked and dastardly mutant terrorist attack. Well, we'll never return to the rig. The subject of our nation's capital has come back again since we retook Navarro. While New Reno serves us well, the outskirts are overrun with mutants, much of the infrastructure is crumbling, and there's this weird stink in the air. Many more felt nostalgic for Navarro. It's well fortified, well defended, and the underground structure is perfect to ensure the safety and continuity, continuity of the American government, of course. That decision is up to the president and not people's own feelings. Our citadel will be West Washington, D.C. I come just enjoy city life. We're gonna go with that one. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will hopefully greatly expand our control as America and as as an enclave. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.